Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so guys, do you remember her? She's a Blythe doll that I customized into Anya from Spy Family like a month or two ago. I mean, I really love how she turned out. I love her dress, I love her face, her hair accessory. But the thing is, I didn't get her to turn her into Anya. I actually got her to turn into myself, me. Okay. So, I've been getting a lot of requests to customize a Blythe doll into myself. I mean, I kind of see the resemblance, like, you know, the big puffy cheeks and the small nose. So, I wanted to take on the challenge. I actually have been wanting to do this for a very long time. Like, I literally started this video like five months ago. So, some of the footage in this video is going to be really old, but please, do not mind. It's long overdue. It's been a while, so I think it's time to take on the challenge. By the way, I'm going to keep all the parts, so if I don't like it, I could always turn her back into Anya. So yeah, I think that's it. Let's just jump right in. Turning a Blythe doll into myself. Let's get started. So, how to customize. Like I said, I'm going to keep all the parts so I could turn her into Anya again whenever I want. Where should I start? Oh my gosh, this is actually kind of awkward. Making a doll of myself. Okay, before we start, I have a huge disclaimer. I could already hear my haters saying, You're not that cute! That doll's too cute to be you! Oh, he's my pet hater, by the way. If I'm making a doll of myself, I want to make the cutest version of myself into a doll. Like, if I want to be really, really Realistic, I could put like all my imperfections in, but what's the point of making an ugly doll? I think I'm cute. So yes, I'm going to make it cute. Anyways, let's take her apart and start from her face. Okay, sorry Baymax. I need this whole space. Let's take her apart. It's really easy. I'm just gonna force it open in her head. Let me just peel this off in her eyes. And done. Okay, so first off, the face. I want to keep this face. So I'm not going to do anything to this. I got her a brand new face. I'm just going to quickly go outside and spray a top coat on top. And now I'm going to take out her eyes. Usually it takes a while to take out the eyes. But these eyes I made and glued on really lightly so it just like came right off. So now let's make the eyes. My eyes. How do I look? Hmm, I have normal brown eyes, but I want to make them a little bit sparkly. Like always, I'm going to make a mold for the eyes. I'm just using a silicone mold maker. I think I could use it all up today. I'm going to get this much and mix it together. I make molds for the eyes every single time, and someone asked me last time why I won't just like reuse them. But sometimes it just breaks, but this time I lost it. I don't know, it just went poof, gone. Where did it go? So yeah, um, I kind of lost the eyes. So I'm just remaking it. It's really not that hard. I'm gonna smooth it out. So I need to move fairly quick because it kind of like hardens pretty fast. And I'm just gonna push it in. And now I'm just gonna wait like 20 minutes until it hardens. And it's been about like three hours. So let's see how it looks like. Okay. Perfect! No bumps, no holes. Looking great! I'm going to add a little bit of brown and mix. Maybe a little bit of yellow and mix. Heat gun to pop some bubbles. And cure. And the reveal. Okay, it didn't go through. It's probably because like the color is really dark, so the light couldn't penetrate through. So let's do this again. This time I'm going to start off with a clear base. I'm gonna fill it in, and then here. Adding some brown on top, and spread. Let's see, okay, perfect. And next I'm going to get some googly eyes. <gasps> This circle is a little bit smaller than what I usually use. Let's see if this one works. If it doesn't, I have to come up with a different way. Let me add a little bit of resin. Put it in the middle. And look what I found. Some star-shaped glitters. I'm gonna put some stars to make it like extra sparkly. More resin. One last cure. And it looks something like this. Okay, okay, I'm going to make a few more just in case. 
For the second one, I want to make it a little bit darker. Ooh, I want to add a little bit of purple. I mean, if I could choose, I would choose to have purple eyes. It's so pretty. Next. Ooh, I love this color. Again, more resin, googly eyes, some sparkles. The reveal. Not bad. Let me just cut off the excess. I think I like these better than my first try. Here's my first try, but it's a little bit too sheer. Let's go with these. And now with a marker, I'm just going to color the rim. I always do this. This really makes a big difference. So here's one. I'm just gonna do the same thing again, coloring the rims. Now let's see how it's gonna look like. Not bad. So the eyes, check. And now to the fun part, let's move on to the face. So I basically need to do my everyday makeup onto this face. And I thought it would be really fun if I used my actual real makeup products. So another disclaimer guys, you're not really supposed to use makeup for dolls. If you want your doll to last for like 50 years, 100 years, forever, do not use makeup. But you know what guys? This is a fun challenge. This is a blank new face and if I want to, I could just like throw it away. I have used makeup to customize dolls like a few years ago and it still looks good. So don't worry, I'm not hurting the doll and I think it's going to be really, really fun. So first I want to do the cheeks. I normally use this or this from Rare Beauty. Let's go with this. So I'm going to get my brush that I always use, my everyday makeup, tap it in, and swipe it on. <gasps> it's cute, but it's like really, really sheer. Can you guys see it? <laughs> Let me add a little bit more. Ooh, I think you can see it. So this is what I use every day. A little bit on the nose, forehead, just like brushing it on. And for the eyes, I've been using this Natasha Denona's eye palette. And as you can see, I love using this color. So maybe like a little bit of this and onto the eye. I also like using this color pop color. It was a collab with Animal Crossing. Again, a little bit of this and tapping it in. It's really, really sheer, but I like how it's like sparkly. It looks so pretty. And I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. And next, I'm going to use some colored pencils. So the eyes, um... So first off, I like to make my eyeliner go down like this. Wow, it's actually pretty hard to make a doll of yourself. You see all these imperfections. I'm gonna get a little bit of brown and add this tick in the middle. This isn't makeup, this is how my eyes naturally look. A lot of people actually think I put makeup on my inner corners, but I don't. It's just how my eyes look. I'm going to use this deep red color to do my bottom line. Kind of like this. What else do I do to my eyes? So now with a white liner, I'm going to make this line underneath my eyes. This is a very Japanese technique. Japanese people like to highlight their under eyes. Like right here. Let's add a tiny bit more blush. It's really, really sheer for the eyebrows. Something like this. And my lips. For my lips, I've been in love with this ink velvet. 27 nude. So I'm going to add a little bit of this and mix it in some resin. <gasps> She's not smiling. I'm gonna make her smiling. And here. I'm gonna color in my nostrils. I'm going to slightly change the shape of the nose. I'm gonna get a little bit of glitter and paint my under eyes. I just wanted to pop a little bit more. And it looks something like this. So this is how I do my everyday makeup. And now it's time to put them back together. Okay. <laughs> it is fun, but a little bit awkward to be making yourself. And it looks something like this. I know she doesn't have her head, but don't worry, that's for last. So next up, her clothes. I thought it would be really fun to go shopping for my clothes. My clothes, her clothes, 
shopping for clothes that I would wear for my doll. If you guys don't know, there's a store in Japan just for Blythe dolls. It's super cute. I love that place. But like I said, I started this project like five months ago. So yeah, I may look a little bit different in the video. Anyways, this is how it went. Here I'm at Juni Moon, the Blythe store, and it's so cute. It's like eye candy everywhere. So adorable. I want to live here. There are so many cute items, the dolls, some accessories for dolls. So let's walk around the room to see what we can find. I'm going to try not to go too crazy. Okay, first off, here we have the dolls. Wow, there's actually a lot of dolls. There's so many Blythe dolls. It feels so magical. By the way, the dolls change like every now and then. So last time when I came here, there weren't that many, but today, there's a lot of dolls. And they're all so pretty. Uh... She is definitely my favorite. I love her hair. I love everything about her. However, she's um $330. Okay guys, let me calm down. I love her hair. It's like pink blonde. Ooh, red hair. I think I can make like a Genie Weasley out of this doll. Here we have a lot of accessories and pouches. We have a winter sale right now, but again, this changes all the time. And here we have some towels. Interesting. Some wallet. Oh, it's so cute. It is so pretty. I love this design. It's a water bottle and it's like so small and it fits right into my small purse. And she's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Here's some wigs. I mean, I already have a wig for my doll. So yeah, I think I'm good. And over here, there's a lot of stationery. This is a pocket file. It's a mermaid. I love mermaids. This looks so dreamy. And it's 50% off. Let me think what can I use these for. I'm trying to think of a reason to buy this. It's a unicorn versus a mermaid. I love them both. Okay, I think I like this version more, so I'm gonna get this. Here we have a miniature notebook. Like a notepad? Wow, so adorable. Alice! Alice in Wonderland themed. There's some pens and some pencil cases. <gasps> Stickers! <laughs> oh, this will be perfect. Maybe one classical, one charming. Do I need the enchanted in the sweetie? Oh, it's on sale right now. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna buy all four of these. More stickers! More stickers! <laughs> They're too cute. I might not be able to like use them. But I wanna like decorate something with these. Some stickers. And next we have some phone cases. Um, I actually used this one for like a year, a few years ago. So I have this a collab with Rilakkuma. This is also so cute. Some keychains. Ooh, it's a heart. Every single detail is so cute. Some mirrors, accessories, a zipper bag. These are the cutest zipper bags ever. And the clothes section. I'm so excited. This section is what we came here for today. So I'm going to buy some clothes for my Blythe doll that I'm going to turn into myself. So basically, I'm going to buy clothes that I would wear. Which clothes do you guys see me in? You guys see me in this like really cute kitty sweatshirt? <gasps> it's ballerina! I could see myself wearing this. Shirley Temple? Aww. I do see myself wearing this. This is so cute as well. This red shirt. Do you guys see me wearing this? Hmm... I don't know. Some dresses! <laughs> wow, these dresses are so, so pretty. I do not see myself wearing these dresses, but I may buy it just because I think they're so pretty. <laughs> it looks like Cinderella! I mean, I wouldn't wear this, but I'm gonna buy it because I, I really like it. I need it. Ooh, I do see myself wearing this. A trench coat. I do have something similar in my closet. So yes, I do see myself wearing this. So maybe this. Do I see myself wearing this? 
Hmm. I don't see myself wearing these. Like, that's not me. That's not my style. Oh. I want to wear this. But yeah, still, it's not my style. I wouldn't wear it on a daily basis. I also don't want to make it like too costumey. Normal clothing that I would wear on a daily basis. Would I wear this? I would. I would. I would. Ooh, a black. I would wear a black or a white. I would wear this. I'm gonna put it all back. I mean, I guess. I guess. I could wear this. I don't have anything like this. But if I ever do find a dress like this, I would. So maybe this? Oh, I need to be wearing some underwear, right? <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> I did tell myself I'm not gonna go too crazy today. But look, they're all like 50% off, 40% off. They're extra affordable today. Would I be wearing this hat? I used to be. I used to have one of these. <laughs> what do you guys think? How about this? <laughs> I think I would wear this. Ooh, it's like so me. Just checking what I got. I got this, this, this. Okay, perfect. Oh. <laughs> would I wear this? Do you guys see me wearing this? Bunny ears. Aw, it looks so comfortable. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Oh wow, these are so pretty. Look at this dress. It is so gorgeous. And this dress. <gasps> There's more over here. Oh wow. And this white one. So, so gorgeous. And here we have like extra accessories. So there's like shoes. More shoes over here. Oh, look at this. It's a skate. I never skate though. <laughs> and little backpacks. <gasps> look at this kit. I would. <laughs> I would. And some glasses. Would I? <laughs> Maybe. Here are accessories. I think I could even wear this. Ice cream. I want it for myself. Look at this. This is so adorable. Which means I should buy it for my doll as well. So some hair accessories. And I think I'm done. Let's go back home to see what I got. And I'm back. So literally it's been about like five months. So I don't remember what I got. So this is like a mystery bag for me. Let's see what I got. Oh my gosh, I got so many stuff. So I got this shirt. This is so cute. I would wear this. And here's a skirt. Ooh, I love this skirt. I could see myself wearing these. Um, I also got this dress. Wait, what was I thinking? Did I really get this for myself? Because I wouldn't wear this unless I'm going to like prom. But I may buy it just because I think they're so pretty. <laughs> but it's cute. It's super cute. A trench coat. I remember getting this. I would wear this. I also got this dress. Cute. And this hat. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> and I got some underwear. I mean, true. I need to have underwear. Ooh. A pocket file set. This is so adorable. Oh, by the way, a lot of the things were on sale when I went there. But it's been like five months. So I'm sure everything changed inside there. But this is so pretty. <gasps> and it's like this small envelope. Adorable. Ooh, I totally forgot I got these. And there's more. And these are little boots. And inside here we have some little accessories. Some ice cream. Ice cream hair accessory. Let me put this on right now. I love my choices. And I also got myself a mini water bottle. Like it's super small. Like look how small it is. But the design and everything is just so cute. So many stuff. <gasps> I got all these stickers. But there's so many things I can make with these. Ooh. And here we've got a sock. And lastly, we got this like paper doll. And I think that's it. And I had it in my room for a very long time. And it's just like a mystery bag from my past self. Here we've got a lot of options. We even have like this wedding gown. <laughs> While I love how it looks, this isn't my normal style. What would I wear? I mean, I would wear these, but I think I'm gonna go with this dress, this trench coat, and the hat. 
I think it's a really nice combination. And let me quickly change my clothes. <laughs> Ooh, I already had underwear on. I mean, I don't have this dress, but if I ever do find one, I would totally wear it. I'm not gonna button the trench coat. I wanna make it so you can see the dress inside. And the boots. Look at these shoes. That's fancy. So we're almost there. And lastly, her hair. So this is how my hair currently looks like. It's like a really light pink. And while her original hair is pink, it looks nothing like my hair. Like, it's a different shade of pink. And that is why I got some wigs. Let's see which one looks like my hair more. Contestant number one, the reveal. Ta-da! Okay, what do you guys think? I think it looks so much better. I think it's really similar to my hair color. Contestant number two. Hmm, my hair color kind of changes every single day. And some days it's like really light. But for now, I think this is the winner. Let's go with this one. Let me comb her hair. I first thought it was going to be a little bit too long, but it turns out to be like perfect. Oh, I wish my hair was like this smooth. And lastly, the hair accessory, which I'm going to put right here, like so. What do you guys think? the reveal. What do you guys think? I got my trench coat out from my closet to match. We both have the ice cream accessory on and <laughs> I think I could see some resemblance. I have to say this was a really fun project. I like her hair and I think I got the makeup. I had a lot of fun. I think I'm going to keep her like this for a while. So yeah, I think we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!